What's up guys, this is Adam with Tech Like a Boss back with you again for another video and today we're going to be talking about how to use and the power of the task manager. All right, let's take a look at it. So to get to the task manager, you can either go from the start menu and start typing in task manager or you can even um, hit control alt delete and there's an option for the task manager there. Now, when the task manager first appears, you may actually see something like this. So this is the um, minimalistic view for the task manager, and it shows you the tasks that are running on your machine. So uh, right now, I'm only seeing the applications running, and you see them down here in the bottom on the actual taskbar as well. You see the Notepad, the OBS, Google Chrome, and then VMware Horizon. From this view alone, what you can do is you can click on a task, uh, you can right click that task, and then you'll have a menu pop up and you can close it from here. Now sometimes that's really good because you have something that's stuck and you're not able to close it. And so by opening the task manager, you can force it to close. Um, another thing you can do here is provide feedback to Microsoft on this task. Uh, you can actually start a new task from this menu as well, I'll show you what that looks like. So it opens up a run command, and let's say I just want to open the command prompt. You can just type in cmd.exe right here, and then if you want, you can run it with admin privileges. But just click OK, and then here we are. So you can actually open programs right from there as well. But when you click on more details, you really start to see the power of the task manager. So when you open it up in more detail, I will go ahead and maximize this window. You can see the tasks, but also you can see all of the background tasks as well that are running on your computer right now. So I can see, for example, my desktop window manager, anti-malware service. I can see Windows Explorer running, Office Click to Run, my NVIDIA container, just a ton of different things that are running on the machine in the background a lot of people don't even know are running on their machine. So what are some of the advantages just to having this screen alone? Well, we go over here and we look at these columns and you can see, for example, right now, these are all aligned, uh, they're in order, by how much memory they're taking up. You see that little carrot right there beside memory? That is um, ordering these by the amount of memory they are taking up. You can see that that is in order from highest to lowest. So if you have something maybe that's draining your memory or taking up a ton of RAM, you'll be able to see that here and you'd be able to force close that program uh, just by, again, right clicking and going to end task. Um, so that is a very valuable. So now I have it ordered by the name. See, I click the name column there. So another good thing to do here in the task manager is if you have this carrot beside something that's uh, open, like for example, Google Chrome, I have, it says there's 12 different processes running under this one task. So if I expand this task, there are all of the processes that are running for Google Chrome. There may be a certain process and that's the only thing that's um, not running smoothly or that's taking up all the memory. You can click that single process, right click it, and then choose to end the task. Um, another thing that you can do here is um, when you expand your tasks, and right click, you now have this resource values, uh, click on memory or disk or network. You can actually change those values from, um, for, or from actual numbers to percentages. So that's nice to know sometimes. So uh, like, for example, if I change my memory to percentages, now, rather than just seeing an arbitrary number, I can see how much of my whole RAM is being taken up by this process. This one is now 3.1% that I see. Really cool information to see there, uh, just to show your processes and uh, what the process is doing on your computer. So you can see how much memory each process takes up. This column shows you how much CPU power utilization there is uh, for each task. So let's order it by CPU speed. Now you'll notice that this list keeps changing. See how often it just switches up and down, up and down, different ones coming in and out. 
And that's because the computer is constantly running processes in the background, and those processes are taking up different amounts of CPU uh, power. And so as they take up certain amount of capacity from the CPU, uh, you'll see their priority change because I have this ordered by how much CPU it's taking up. Um, so that's nice to know because sometimes you'll have processes running that are taking up a ton of your CPU. And the only way to know which one is doing it is by opening up the task manager like this and being able to see the CPU utilization. Um, another thing that you'll see here is the disk usage. Now what that is, is where there is data flowing back and forth on the hard drive. And so especially if you don't have a solid state drive, a lot of times programs will cause bottlenecks if they're uh, trying to send, read, and write information on the hard drive at you know large amounts. And so by ordering this by the disk, you can find which program might be doing that. Finally, you see uh, these last couple, the network tab will tell you how much uh, megabits per second are being transferred by a certain task. So as you can see, my network utilization is very low right now. Because I have the VMware Horizon client running in the background and Google Chrome, those are constantly running um, some type of network speed. And so you can see that those um, that's how much data is flowing on the internet right now from those tasks. And then beside network, you have the GPU. My GPU utilization is kind of high right now. Why? Because I'm recording a video. And so since I'm recording a video and it's using my webcam, um, it's using a lot of the graphics processing unit, the GPU, on my computer. So 21% of my GPU is being used for this OBS program that's recording this video right now. Um, and then you can see, based on that, you see this power usage. And so that program is taking up a lot of power, well, moderate power. It actually goes up to high and very high. If we expand this one, power usage trend. So. Um, on average, this program is taking up very low amount of power, but right now it's a higher amount because we're recording this video. So really cool information there that you can see, and that's just on the first tab of Task Manager. The second tab is the Performance tab. Now the Performance tab is very useful because you can see the total usage uh, for each one of those tabs. So right now I'm showing you um, the CPU total usage on my machine, and this is a 60 second running total of the usage. You can see the utilization percentage down here, how fast my processor is going right now, how many total processes are being run, how many threads and handles. Look how many handles. So uh, a process would be like um, a bigger container, and then you break those down into threads, and then you break threads down into handles. And so that's how the CPU is processing um, all the different tasks. So it's pretty cool. You can also see here the um, amount of time that the CPU has been up without being shut down. It's been a while since I've shut this thing down, so I might need to do that soon. Um, if I click on memory, you can see the total amount of memory being used. You can see the memory composition. If you uh, hold your mouse over that, the first bit there is how much memory is in use. And then the second bit is um, compressed memory. And then the third bit is the standby or the free memory. Um, then you can look at your disk, how much disk utilization that you have. Uh, I have a second hard drive here. It's not being utilized right now at all. Same with Ethernet. You can see that. Uh, the network traffic, the Wi-Fi traffic. See, I have some Wi-Fi going on because that's what I'm connected to. I'm not connected to Ethernet. And then again, the GPU. You can see uh, how much is running on different forms of GPU processing. So right now, this is all 3D GPU processing. I, if there was a video processing going on, you would see here, if I was watching a movie, um, video decoding, that's, I'm sorry, video decoding will be watching a movie, video processing will most likely be video encoding. So that'll probably happen when I go into Premiere, create this video and uh, edit it and things like that. So that's another cool thing you can do with the task manager. Uh, you can also see this app history. These are the Windows apps. You can see their usage there and all that they have been taking up. I don't use many Windows apps. You can actually switch to them here. And then next tab is the startup tab. This is a very useful tab because if you have things that are starting up when you start Windows and you want to shut them down, you don't want them to start up with Windows. All you have to do is go to this tab 
And then for example, I can click on iTunes Helper. I can right click and do Disable and that will turn it off to where next time I reboot my computer, this will not boot with the computer and it will save me that boot up time, which can be very nice. Um, then you can also uh, see the properties of a certain uh, program by going down to that, or you can actually find where it's opening from, open file location, and then there is where it's opening that program when uh, Windows boots up. So that's with the startup. Uh, next you see the users who are logged in, if there's multiple ones, um, most of the time, that won't be useful to you. Um, details, you can see every one of the processes inside the tasks. You can see their PID numbers. You can see which user has them open. You can see um, how much CPU, memory, uh, very good information there for every task that's open. Um, even from here, you can right click. And something that's nice to have is um, when you right click on one of these, you can actually go down to here go to service because each one of these uh, programs or tasks that are running on your computer are run through a Windows service of some sort. So if you click go to service, you'll notice that it switches to the last tab, which is the services tab, and it shows you um, the services that are open and running on your computer. And so from here, you can actually start services, you can stop services, restart them, um, this is really good for, for example, when you have a printer that's not working because the spooling service isn't working, you know, or Windows Update's not working right. You know, you can go down here to the Windows Update service and you can restart it or start it. So very good information. And so those are the tabs on Task Manager. Again, you can start a new task or exit it from the file menu. Um, you have a couple there in the options in the Options tab and then um, a couple different view changes that are available. But that's about it, guys. That is the task manager. Very powerful program that a lot of times we overlook and don't realize. We can use this to troubleshoot so many different things on our computers as well as just make it easier and more efficient to use. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and click the like button below and go ahead and subscribe for more that are like this. Let me know what you think about this kind. Uh, leave a comment down below. That's about it, guys. I appreciate you checking out this video. If you want to know how to create these videos, if you want to know how to record uh, your screen and record your webcam at the same time. I want you to check this video out right here. Uh, it's a great tutorial on how to do that. This has been Adam with Tech Like a Boss. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next one.